I have Kathy Riley here. She's the executive director of the Women's Shelter, and they are doing their annual Thanksgiving Super. That's coming up so soon. I know. I know. It's already in the beginning of November. Yes. yes. I can't yes. believe it. It's how, almost Christmas. How many years has it been that <laughs> you've been doing this? This is the 38th. Wow. 38th. I've, yeah, I've been at the shelter. This is my 41st year. Wow. That's amazing. That's a long time. But then that's a lot of people that you've been helping over the years, too. Yeah, yeah. it really has been. Yes. So, so first of all, tell us a little bit about the Women's Shelter mm-hmm. and um, how it got started and some of the services that you mm-hmm. provide. We provide housing to women who are in crisis situations. So it might be someone coming out of a non-violent domestic situation, someone that isn't fearing for a life, or maybe coming out of a drug or alcohol treatment center coming out of jail, coming out of prison, coming out of a bad situation. And they have pretty well burnt their options, but they want to begin again. They're ready to try again. So I often say it's the first step off the street. Okay, so where do you get your referrals? You know, we were just talking about the crazy Internet. So (laughs) now more than ever, I mean, people find us on the web and will call, or we have linked up into the probation offices, into the jails, into rehab centers. So when people are getting out and don't know where they're going and don't have any place to go, you know, they will refer them to us. And so um, I like your mission statement. You're providing a safe environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it just for homeless women? Well, it's for women really who are coming out of bad situations. So maybe they've had a home, but it's not safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, It's less than sanitary, decent housing. Um, lots of reasons, you know, describe why a woman ends up with us. And, but usually the common denominator is she's kind of sick and tired of being sick and tired. Maybe 80 to 85% of the women that we serve are in recovery from drugs and alcohol. And they've been using drugs from a very early age and it has really, really worn them down besides burning every bridge Mm -hmm. that they ever made. A lot of them have children. We do not serve the children on site, but I don't think a mama ever forgets her kids. Right. You know, so I, I call them the invisible children running around the shelter at any one time. So you have this uh, Thanksgiving super every year. Right. And that supports the shelter. So right. tell us a little bit about the, um, the event and mm-hmm. what people can expect. Well, it's a really dressed down event. This is not what you would call in the gala category. It's much okay. like us. It's pretty simple. Mm-hmm. We have a great corporate sponsor who will provide the soup and the tea and the crackers. And for five dollars, you come and you get a very simple meal. Really, the understanding behind this is it is the Thursday before Thanksgiving, always the Thursday before Thanksgiving. So on the 16th, you come hopefully as a family unit. We have entertainment. It's very simple. Come on in, sit down, have a simple meal and do a teachable moment with your kids. And also a reminder to yourself that this really simple meal of soup and crackers, that's what some people are very, very grateful for and the only meal that they might get that day. Wow. So when you sit down the next Thursday to this feast Mm -hmm. called Thanksgiving, I don't know, it's just a wake up call to say. It's humbling to remember. Exactly. And I often think of it as a kickoff to the holiday season, too. It's kind of the beginning of the holidays for a lot of people who come. So sometimes we have church groups who come and have them, you know, bring their whole group. That's a great Um, idea. We have friends who don't see each other all year long and meet up at the super, you know, to reconnect. Mm -hmm. So it's a great place for fellowship. Great. And Eastminster Presbyterian Church has been our host For the event, ask nothing of us other than to open up their beautiful Thompson Hall. It's at 3200 Trenum Road. Um, And they open the hall up to us and allow us to use it for a few hours that evening. All right. And what can people do to help the women's shelter? Well, I think it's really good to go online and look at our website. It's just www.womenshelteronword.org. Mm-hmm. And I really believe you should never give a dollar to a group that you haven't personally seen if it's in your local area. And you should be able to come by the shelter, walk in and say, now, I really don't want to live in a shelter, 
but if I had to, I could do this. I could live here. This is warm. This is welcoming. This is a home. I think I could do it. And I think for people to just look us up and come by, come by and visit with us. And as my mother always said, you would never go to anyone's home without bringing something. So bring us toilet paper and bring us paper towels and, okay. and bring us some soft drinks, which we never buy, you know. Okay. But um, look us up on the web and then come. Come and see for yourself. All right. Thank you so much for the service that you're providing to the community. Mm-hmm. And again, it's the um, annual Thanksgiving Super on um, Thursday, November 16th. And you said it is from 5 till 5.30 Seven. to 7.30. 5.30 to 7.30. You didn't drop by. You don't need tickets or anything. Else. Oh, okay. Just okay. come on in, you know, and, and get a nice, delicious bowl of soup. Yes. We'll see you there. We appreciate it. Thank you.